Shalom, shalom. This one starts off by giving all praises on and glory unto Yahweh. Barashem Yahushai, Barashem Kakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, you know, that taught us this 100% truth. Um, shalom unto the Archeans pushing this word and enduring to the end. And shalom unto the Aquats being obedient unto the husband and taking heed of this word. And also shalom unto you speckle, speckle bird Israelites, you know. Um, well, the same brother again, brother Yassad from the Trinidad GMS Prophetic Vibration Camp, bringing on to another lesson we're going to study in here. So, um, I will be doing a, a small lesson concerning the Ephesians chapter 2, um, from our 2 to verse, verse 3. Yeah, well, it's true. You know, um, so I will begin. Let's see. And you had he quickened who were dead in trespass and sins. Right? Because all of us, all of us, when we now came into the truth, all of us back then were in the world, you know. We had only the old man thinking, you know, um, just things after the world not just vanity and thing because just as the the um the Romans or eight eight and um, eight and twenty mm. see hmm. yeah it's a for the creature was made subject to vanity not willingly but by reason of him who had subject the same in hope because yeah yeah, yeah because hey all man the the studying before the coming to this truth and the the gain the word of the Lord. All of us who was just back into the world, you know. Um I set a woman, run I set a woman, we whoever was smoking, you know, who was a drunkard and just doing worldly things, being jakes in the world. But but no, it's through the word or through the gospel, you know, the Lord quickened. You know, we we were changed now, boy. I write the scripture. Um, and let me, let me see if I find it quick. Eh, here it's my uh, mm. uh, minute. Yeah. The scripture concerning um the old man at the top of the old man, right? Let's see Ephesians four and twenty four, and that he put on the new man. Um, yeah. After Yahweh is created in righteousness and true holiness. Because before, going back to um, the Ephesians 2, before all of you were just trespassers and, and, and sinful, because say who were dead in trespassers and sin, are going back to in Ezekiel chapter 7, no, um, 37. Right? Um, we're, we're speaking of the, the dry bones. Let's see. And, um, mm, mm. Uh, yeah, about verse 2. Let's say, and, let me start on verse 1. It said, The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in, in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And that open valley was representing Israel. Hmm. And the dry bones is us, because we we didn't have this knowledge no more. Hmm. We didn't have no wisdom or, or understanding of the scriptures. Because at that time when this knowledge was hidden from, from ages and generations, you know, yeah. But when when the word come now, mm, then we start to put when when we now come into this truth, that is we putting back on mm. skin. When you read on down, it's um about verse um yeah, verse five. It said, Thus said the Lord Yahweh unto these bones, Behold I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live, and I will lay sinews upon you. 
and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and that flesh and that skin is, is the wisdom and the it is the knowledge right and wisdom and that bread going into the understanding right and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord because all our it is it was um prophesied that we we would have reached that state hmm. because all I was fulfillment of the scripture because are we disobedience of the Lord mm. and, and trespassing of the Lord and breaking the Lord covenant he said we were stripped of our heritage and we were sent to, to, to be slaves unto those other nations and what we do we learn after we we, we, we parents so wherever the slave master taught us that we was that we actually learned just just thinking about vanity and you know nothing to do with the lord because it was all doctrines we was was actually um just just indulging and and we learned because this is jeremiah 17 and 4 which saying um and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that i give thee and i will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever yeah because this is when the when we went into to, to, to sleep here yeah. and mm. we was we discontinued from our heritage we stopped knowing this wisdom and on this this knowledge we stopped knowing about your how about shimmy and shy yeah. and we did because back in the um at the teacher me 28 and verse 64 you know it say um and the lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other and there shall thou serve other gods neither yeah, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone yeah this is we being in that in that darkness uh, like we being you know that dry bones in the valley mm. because we didn't have the lord we didn't know the heritage we was always a trespasser we wasn't keeping laws we was doing the learning and and um and um mm. practicing the ways of the heathen mm. and with the jeremiah or um 2 and 11 i think so learn not the way of the heathen mm. yeah Going back to the Ephesians here. Eh? Um, Ephesians. Yeah. Two. And from verse 2. It says, Wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world. According to the prince of the power of the air. Yeah. Because all of it was just, you know, the, the vanities in the world. Studying to build house, studying to a car, studying to a family, and you know, not thinking upon the Lord. Or well, some of us was thinking upon the Lord, but it it's sure in the scripture that we was given unto we enemies to serve unto sto serve wood and stone. Cause I write that the scripture in Jeremiah say um, mm. um the Lord had girded girded us and um though we had not know him now. I think they were Jeremiah. Um, I think Jeremiah 22 or something. Some some part in the book of Jeremiah. You know? Yeah. Because when we, when we, um, was, when we forefathers was taken into captivity from all the mother nation, they were beaten. And, and it was all for them to forget the heritage and the things they know. That the, for them to, like why when you're reading Maccabees and things and all them, like like Alexander in the time when the Grecians was ruling, these, the, those Edomites, they used to kill the, um, the, the mother that was circumcised mm. and she child and growing up, she child under the law, the Israelites, you know. Yeah, because them and all wanted everything to be as a one world order. They wanted to implement the one world order, so they used to send out that unto all the other, all the nations and all uh, were under, you know, 
Um, what, what else? was the, um, the, uh, when they was in rulership, they actually wanted everybody to come under one ordana and one religion. Hmm. It goes on to say, according to the prince of the, of power of the air, the spirit that no, now worketh in the train of disobedience. Yeah, because before all that we come into the church, we was eating pork and was smoking weed and doing all them things. It's uh, among whom also mm. we had our conversation in time past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and away by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Yeah, because we know that um, to be carnal mind is is that you know, this this flesh here is it wars against the this the spirit. Hmm. Yeah, because um, I might get a scripture in the book of Galatians five and seventeen. It says, "For the flesh lost it against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh." And these are contrary to one to to the other, so that he cannot do the things that he would. Yeah. Uh, but if you be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. As as going into you know how um yeah, yeah. how the flesh because the flesh go always do carnal things, mm. worldly things, right? But the sp- the spirit now the, is the spirit that, that quicken you. Because it's in um, what? John, John um, 6 and 63. Um, I might get it quicker. 63. It's a, it is the spirit that quicken it. The flesh profit it nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Yeah. Hmm. The, the spirit, right? Go, go allow you to keep your laws and, and bring remembrance, you know? Uh, things. Uh, within the truth. Hmm. You you dash. But... Mm. When you actually put in this, the flesh to be first, you you got actually be just feeding the flesh and, and and lusting after things, you know, contrary to the spirit. Hmm. Yeah. I'll finish off the Ephesians. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Among whom also we had our conversation in times past in the loss of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature of children, by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But Yahweh, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he loved us. You know, because even when he would, we were dead in sins, had quickened us together with Yahweh Shai. And that is why when when we were shown mercy, you know, when when mm. the Lord actually died upon the cross because just as it's in the Hebrews eight and eight, right? How we wasn't able to um, how we was constantly transgressing the laws. Right? And how we broke the covenant of the Lord. Now the Lord actually sent the Messiah now that we could obtain back that mercy from the Lord. Mm. By he dying on the cross for the sins of Israel. Mm. Yeah. Um I'm gonna get the book uh, Hebrews chapter five. Chapter five and verse one. It says, For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men and things pertaining to Yahweh, mm. that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sin. Because, let's see, 
it says for every high priest taken from among, among men because before we was before we was back in the world with jakes doing things that wicked jakes would do would do you know the lust of the flesh and all of these things run down women run down vanity is a man all about money and all these things so the lord actually take us from among them right yeah, from among men is ordained for men that is when we come into the truth and understand this gospel and the word right so the lord ordained we now right and right and things pertaining to, to yahweh pertaining to the spirit you know so so now we actually put on that that, that flesh now and we mm. gain that knowledge of the scriptures so we ought to do go out and teach the word unto we brothers and sisters and wake them up that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices of sins and them gifts going into you know um you have an understanding of the scriptures and all these things and next precept mm. yeah. look at ephesians chapter 5 and verse 8 mm. It say, for we were sometimes darkness, yeah. for ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord, walk as children of the light. Yeah, because while we was in, yeah. that, in that point at that time, we realized that we was in, in, in just trespass trust, trust and not knowing the Lord. Yeah. But now we know the Lord, now that light shine upon us. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Cause even going down in this Ephesians five and twenty six, it say that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So yeah, because how we ought to attain unto the Lord is, is and or even cleanse the way. And and we, we, you know um. Repent and thing is, is by taking heed of the word. As it says in Psalms 119 and verse 9, it says, Where it all, how shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed there unto the mm. word. Yeah. So when you understand these scriptures and you start to do according to the word, that is you washing yourself. Uh, and you, you putting on that new man. Gooding up your, your, your loins or your, even your mind with that understanding of the scriptures. Hmm. Let's say the first Peter chapter 2 and 9. Hmm. Yeah. First Peter 2 and 9, it says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show for, show for the praise. Of whom had called you out of darkness and into this marvelous light. Yeah. So it's saying we mm. we we special people, you know? Because we are the chosen people, Israel. We are the chosen people of the Lord. Right? And we were all doing wickedly and transgressing the Lord, Lord, but to this word, right? To the mercy. The Lord show me by bringing Yahweh Shai, which is the word because it's a low coming volume of the book. You know, um, it is written of him. Or oh, it is the scripture, the first, no, John 1, chapter 1 and verse 1. Um, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with, with, with Yahweh, you know. Um, yeah, it's a. Of him who had called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. Because just like Peter and, and um, James and them, back then they were just in the world and, 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 and doing just according to, to you know, mm. the, the, what is doing on a normal basis. But now when the Lord 
preach and teach them the gospel now, right? They, they, they was converted. And he, they become fishers of men. Yeah. They come back onto the heritage. Let's find out one more precept. I want it see in Mark 2 and 17. Let me see if I get it. Let's see. When Yahushua heard it, he answered and said unto them, They that are whole have no need of the physician, right? But they that are sick, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Yeah. So, like why it said before time we was um we was in in sin and trespass and trespasses and in sin, yeah. But but through the word we we through the gospel we being quickened, right, and converted. Yeah, well, um, I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, again, shalom. Mm.